Hi, welcome back. Uh, I just released uh, version 10.6 of my telemetry tool and there's quite a nice features but today I'm going to show you how you can use the 10.6 with the Trustmaster SF1000 steering wheel and how to get the data from uh, from uh, access the Corsa competition into uh, the wheels uh, screen. This also works with some other games like uh, all, all the other games that my telemetry tool supports like uh, Automobiles 2, Cars 2 and also the card craft. Card craft. So uh, the way it works is that actually in 10.6 I uh, in, actually in the already in the past the telemetry tool has had a way to send UDB data to two different addresses and now I actually extended that so that you can also select the format of the data. So you can now actually send the data in the in Formula One 2020 data format. So this this way you can actually send the data over Wi-Fi to the uh, SF1000 uh, wheel or some other dash which requires Formula One 2020 data format. But I'm going to show you how you can set up the uh, the telemetry tool to work with the uh, Trustmaster new SF1000 feel, we, uh, wheel. And so let's dive in how you do that. So first thing is that of course you have to install uh, the uh, wheel and make sure that everything is ready. And then uh, what you have to con you have to connect it over Wi-Fi. And then when you have connected over Wi-Fi, you will actually see here on the screen. So when you press this button, you get to see the SSID, but you also see the IP address. And then what you need to remember is to go down to settings and set that you have the Codemasters or well, the UDP format is Codemasters F1 2019 2020. This must be on. If this is on off, then you won't be getting any data. So here you can see actually on the UDP, you will see the port number which the wheel is now listening. So the wheel is on that IP address and it's listening on that on that uh, port number. So I'm actually gonna show you and go a little bit down there and show you something else on the on the telemetry tool I'm just putting this off so let's go to the telemetry tool something you, can, you have to do so you actually go to the settings you go to network settings and here the first column you don't have to care about that but on the second or third column you enable here the UDB forward so UDB retired redirect so it will send the data to that address so uh, new thing is that actually they used to be just there wasn't any uh, format uh, selection, but now you days on the format selection because there's few other things. Also, if you do swap driver things, there's that's also something I did at 10.2, But so you select the Formula One 2020 format, then you set the frequency. If you have very slow uh, network or your home network is slow, then you might actually play a little bit around the frequency. So if if the data on the wheel is a little bit trailing then you have to make the frequency a bit lower because you, your network maybe can handle it but here actually what we do here then we sit here the ip address so the ip address we had here we set it here and then the port number it's the udb port here so now the telemetry tool will send data to the steering wheel which is now on this this ip address here so it's actually quite nice way of, of getting data also from other games than when with the, with the wheel now there's native support for F F Formula One 2019 and 2020. Also 2021 works with with the native mode. But for the other games like the old Formula One games or the Automobilista 2 or Cardcraft or Assetto Corsa Competizione, you want to have the data, a little bit of data on the wheel when you have the nice this nice new wheel. So this is the way how you enable it on, on the telemetry tool. So now we have done that. So the next step is, is go to the game and then uh, when the game starts you have to go here and you press here so get off, off from that and you can already now see that when the car is in the garage you can see that this it's not moving, time is moving and it's on the on the reverse. So let's go uh, driving and then you now see it goes on the, and time is already running. So for example now I put on the bit limiter you will see the pit limiter text here. We put the gear on and start driving. So let's take the pit limiter off. So you will see. So also the rev lights will be 
turning out. Sometimes it goes a little bit offline. Also, when you start driving, it just takes. Sometimes it takes a little bit time before it finds out what there. But there's lots of other data. So this is the basics. Oh, I'm just going bad driving here. So yeah, let's stop here. Actually, it might be better to keep eyes on the road <laughs> than drive. So here, actually, you can do when you change here. You can see a little bit different uh, views. That is, uh, these are the default views of, of the of the wheel, but you have much fuel you have left, what's the temperature, this is actually the water temperature. Uh, there's no tire wear, which is sad, but this the game doesn't provide that. But you get the RPMs, a uh, little bit of your speed, some of the other data, like if you have this, if it's a race, how many laps we have done, then how many cars are there. And this is actually a nice view where you, you see uh, your current time, the fastest lap and the last period, last time, and then there's some other uh, data when you get here there's one which gives you a little more <coughs> more data more data so I just and what I've done actually for most of the cars in the ACC I fixed that you can get this you get this oh, that's so bad driving but yeah might better be better to actually just look into so I try to make sure that the rev lights go work in the same way as they are on the screen so it's just quite handy handy nice way and then just get all the data you can see here the brake temps going up here and, and stuff like that but yeah this is the way it works quite easy easy to set up you just install uh, make sure that the tool is there tool is there on the or you have the wheel connected to the uh, Wi-Fi then you set up the telemetry tool and then you start driving and you get data and this works with the all the uh, all the games that I, my tool support that means uh, Automobilista, stuff cars all the Formula one games card craft even uh, did did rally to also ACC so it's it's quite easy and handy way to get going like this but but yeah if you have any questions come to the race department and ask there or on the YouTube or on this channel and then yeah I hope you enjoy this and, and see you later thanks bye